Today on Zalonka, the potatoes are ready to harvest, and so we're going to hire a harvester and get them lifted to make soup for immediately selling. Maybe we'll make enough money for a second tractor. Let's get farming. Welcome along and welcome back to Thalonka. Yeah, we've had a fairly rough night in the bus. That is not the most comfortable sleeping at all. I want to get a house built really as quickly as possible. Uh, as I said in uh, the introduction, we have this field of potatoes here ready to harvest. Uh, we are going to have to go to the shop and grab a harvester. Thankfully, the shop is not too far away. And a quick trip across the road and we're there. I do like the closest of the shop to the main farm on this map. Let's have a look and see what we can pick up. Now, our tractor that we currently have has 165 horsepower. I'm hoping that's going to be enough to pull a trailed potato harvester. And it isn't. Okay, so that kind of ties our hands. We're not going to be able to lease any of these harvesters. Uh, we are going to, in fact, have to lease the much more expensive uh, Big Grimmy Harvester. However, that should get things done quicker, and speed is of the essence today. So let's customize this. Uh, we're going to run this on a hired worker anyway, so pretty much none of this extra cost is needed. What we do need is to immediately head over and find somebody from the... Patron, the producer level patrons to uh, go and put on our number plate. Congratulations to Dan Magin. You have been selected at random. So we managed to actually fit your full name on the number plate. So okay to that. And we will lease this for today. Uh, it's going to cost us 30549 I'm not expecting this to cost any more than that. I mean, if we go over another work hour, that's going to be really expensive. So we'll grab this and then we can head out over here and pick it up. And this is a beast of machine. Now, this holds way more than our trailer ever will. Uh, it should mean that we can keep going all day and just keep uh, taking loads off the trailer. We'll start her up and take her out to the field and uh, we'll get a hired worker going with this. Now, one thing I am going to have to watch with this, which we or we could do with the other crops is if we drive over any of the crop with this we are gonna end up uh destroying crop so uh we want to try and avoid at all costs doing that so we'll line this up this is not immediately gonna need to empty like our vegetable harvester and we can line this up we will start it up, drop the header down, and actually I could do this first row myself, but I want to go and get uh, my, my trailer ready to empty this as soon as it hits the end of the first row. Yeah, there we go. We've got potatoes coming in. I was worried it wasn't actually working then. Now our crab trailer here, this takes 12,600 litres. Uh, and I think that harvester holds double that. So uh, we've kind of got the inverse of what I normally like from my harvesters. Uh, ending up with just this massive amount of uh, stuff in the harvester. So we want to keep emptying this as much as possible. Uh, we also need to get our soup factory turned over to, to, to potato soup as quickly as possible today. September is actually the best price for soup. So uh, for potato soup in particular, uh, all the vegetable soups seem to be about March time. Uh, but this, yeah, we want we want these potatoes into there as quickly as possible. That is filling that up. And only 3000 liters off the first row. So we're looking at uh, around four rows per full tank off here. So we should be able to, oh, sorry, four rows per full trailer. Uh, that is never going to give us a full tank uh, doing four rows off here. Uh, this harvester is just way too big for that. So we'll see how close now my estimate of uh, how full this trailer gets or how quickly this trailer gets full. 
we are on to the third or oh, sorry the fourth row our second one emptying and we're almost full already i want to pop out though and just check what happens when we get a full trailer lots of questions about what happened yesterday with crops coming out and yeah because it's not still emptying and because it has storage the potato harvester of course isn't overloading and isn't loading stuff out outside of the trailer so i think i'm gonna have to do a bit more investigation with the whole do we lose any vegetable crops when we get a full trailer uh, it's it's an interesting conundrum so first we'll load the potatoes down to our soup factory and i think we've got quite a lot of soup sitting outside at the moment let's bring this up here and tip it like that i am tempted to direct sell the potato soup from here because of how much soup we've got hanging around uh, and we do need to sell it today we have a look in here we can turn on the potato soup i oh this is this is a tough one because potato soup right now is worth 2308 uh 2380 is its maximum price so it is still climbing and we still have time uh 2000 yeah 2308 it goes down as low as 2053 so we'll get an average price if we do a direct sell and in fact, yeah, we are way above the maximum price as recording in the seasons, seasonal fluctuations. I think we need to get a forklift down here, clear these out and uh, start loading up potatoes. So what we'll do is we'll get these potato fields harvested and then we'll come back here and, uh, and sell off as much potato soup today as we can. Uh, we we really want to get this turned around because we can make that much money off every thousand liters of soup and uh, that is immediately a huge amount of cash in fact should very quickly pay for the harvester and as i said in the introduction hopefully pay for a new tractor as well the harvester is on its way back up the field. We might be able to just sneak in here and empty it before it hits the end of the row. I don't know. I don't think it's managed to make it there and back twice. So uh, we'll see what comes in. It should allow us to empty at the end of the row. With any luck. No, nope, it's going to keep going. No, nope, it stopped. Perfect. So uh, how full are we going to be? No. Oh. We are not far off a full trailer. Uh, we will just pop down the other end, pick up the rest, and uh, then take our second load down to the processing factory, the, the soup factory. Uh, we, should, we should be able to keep this harvester going all day, which is going to make this whole thing so much quicker than our vegetables last time. Load two coming into our soup factory, and... Something that's amazing me at the moment is how little fuel we're using. We are on high fuel usage here, as you can see in our settings. And yeah, I'm very, very surprised by that, that our fuel usage isn't, uh, isn't going down a lot faster. We have a look in our potato soup production. We currently have produced 210 litres of potato soup, so we've got a way to go yet before we've produced a load of uh, potato soup. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to make a huge amount today. I might end up having to borrow money to get that second tractor. I think that second tractor is going to be an important part of the farm and, uh, and keeping things running. I don't really want to hold on to the potato soup for a year, though. But the price really doesn't reach its peak until September. So, uh, yeah, this might be one of those long-term investments with the soup. It's such a pity that it's it happens so fast. And once again, we're back to the field as the harvester is coming back for this run. That is really useful. And considering that it must have been fuller the last time we left, I think this is going to be a full load off here this time. 
I've been in the right place. Yes, we are. Let's empty it out and see how we do. That is, uh, yeah, that's very much looking like a full trailer straight off the field. Is it going to empty the harvester? It does. Or it just about does. I think the harvester has a minimal amount in it, which is perfect. Yeah, we want to keep that harvester as empty as possible while we're doing this carting. I don't know if I will continue to do potatoes beyond this first year. We're definitely not going to hold on to the harvester because holding this harvester along with the vegetable harvester is just going to be too expensive. Vegetable harvester already costs 6000 per day out of our money and uh, I don't want this adding another 5000 odd on top of that. So uh, yeah, we want to we wanna return this potato harvester after we're done here. Um, but it all depends really on how profitable these potatoes are. If we end up with a massive amount more profit from the potatoes, it's worth hiring this harvester for a day and, uh, and doing this. We end up with, I think it takes us maybe three loads to pay for the harvester, possibly. So yeah it's it's quite a big outlay and uh and and quite a big expense on top i don't know whether it's worth it what i do want to know is uh whether you guys think it's worth it should we continue to do potatoes on here we're going to be doing ridging and preparing the fields and everything so uh yeah should we do potatoes on here as well also are there any other crops we're very much concentrating on the vegetables and my plan very much is to, to do mostly vegetables on here. But uh, do you want to see me do anything else? Do you want me to see me mix some uh, corn in there or or some wheat or, or barley or something like that as well? Uh, let us know in the comments. Always interested for everybody's feedback. I think we're probably only a couple of rows away from finishing this field. And with this being a full trailer, I think we're probably one full trailer away from finishing it as well. That's really good news. We're going to be able to go and move a load of the parsnip soup out of the way at the factory. Uh, that's not going to be sold till March. So uh, it makes sense for us to hold on. We might even be wise to get a pallet uh, storage facility down there so that we can actually put the pallets into there and then get them out when we want to uh, i think that might be really really wise i don't know if we can actually have any of the land down there unfortunately so uh, we will have to have a look at that we do have a really good amount of potatoes down here though it's, I'm, I'm impressed with how many potatoes we've got off here Let's tip these out. And then I want to have a look. What have we got? I don't know if we can place anything around here. So we're down here. If I go for what we can buy, we can buy 97 and put a facility there. Uh, we can't buy anything else around us. Here we go. Bale and pallet storage, 29,000. Overlaps with other objects. Oh, we can. We've got the place anywhere on here. So I wonder, seeing as we own this, could we add... Oh, we can't add it to the existing facility. We'd have to put it, like, out here or something like that uh, to use it. I don't know. I think it might be better for us to have it down at the farm. Total amount of potatoes we've got in here at the moment is 58,000, uh, but we have processed about 1,000 of them. So we're actually going to have less potatoes out here uh, than we had parsnips, interestingly. Um, but uh, it should still make us a nice wad of profit. And yeah, our harvester has got to the end of the field and finished work before we're able to get back. I wonder if it has a full trailer's worth of potatoes in here or whether we are going to be short of a full trailer. Bring this round and under. He's not running, so I'll have to jump in, start it up and empty it out. It looks fairly full. 
And is this more potatoes than uh, we can carry? In fact, I didn't see what the, the amount was, but I think we should be okay. Let's pop into reverse and just put this on the back. No! 2,020 litres extra sitting in our harvester. Well, let's turn it off so that we don't get any more work hours on it. Uh, because it is up to... Oh, it's up to half. So that's fine. But uh, yeah, we got we got to go and empty this. And uh, and then we got another 2,000 litres of that on top. Uh, we are definitely going to make a profit today. I don't think it's going to be a huge amount. I was just working things out. We need 60... No, no, we need 60,000 litres of potatoes to make 20,000 litres of soup. Which gives us 40,000 liter, uh, 40,000 pounds, which makes today profitable. We have hit uh, 70,000 liters. So, yeah, we are profitable. So, we are absolutely fine with that harvester. We do need to return it, though. Otherwise, it's just going to come too expensive. I'm, I'm pleased. I, I didn't... I was worried for a little while that uh, using that harvester was not going to be a profitable way to do things. Emptying out the last little bit into the trailer. We'll fold all this down uh, because we're finished with it. In fact, I think we'll get this return straight from the field here. Uh, we really do have no more use for our uh, Grimmy Vendor. So easiest way to return this is here. I, I do wish this screen here showed how much this costs me per day and per work hour. The one piece of information that's missing from this screen. Uh, so we'll return this here. Yes. Okay. Uh, we're keeping our vegetable harvester, which is actually the more expensive of the two. And uh, I'm going to go and tip this. We've got 2,235 litres off our last load here. And so by midday... We are going to be tipping all of our potatoes into our factory and uh, finishing this off. I'm wondering how many pallets of potatoes we've or potato soup we've got. And oh, we're coming up to our first pallet. In fact, there is our first pallet of potato soup. Uh, it's slightly annoying because, yeah, we are at best going to get two pallets out today. Uh, we've got our parsnip soup. Actually, that is a really good value for the parsnip soup right now. It is only about 50, uh, 50 pound per thousand litres below the best price. If we have a look at parsnip soup, in fact, yes. Parsnip soup. Wow. Okay. I thought parsnip soup was going to hit its best price in March. I think we have an interesting conundrum here in that we have no prices for any of this. So while we, we kind of think this is the best price, this could be the best price for parsnip soup right now. Um, we have no idea what the rest of the year is going to be. This is a bug we've seen before, actually, in Farm Sim. Uh, where we've not had the prices elsewhere. So uh, I think our best bet this afternoon then, seeing as we seem to have the best price for all of our soups at the moment, uh, is to go and grab ourselves a trailer, a forklift, and start loading up as much of this soup as possible, selling it off and seeing if we can uh, make enough money to get another tractor. Before doing that, we are going to need to repair our tractor, though. It is uh, woefully uh, in disrepair. Yeah, paint condition's awful, but the condition of itself, 2,270, sorry, 2,759. Uh, also, I want to look at the possibility of putting the standard tires on it, because we've had the narrows running on it this whole time. I think for now we probably want to get the standard tires uh yes okay that's not going to cost us anything which is brilliant so uh, i will get this back around the other side of the building and having parked up we will pop over to the shop and grab the bits we need 
So we're going to need a trailer of some description. There is a trailer in this DLC. Yeah, this one. Can we get this? So that, wow, this is how much? With the bail trailer set up, it's 30,000. Uh, that is really expensive. Uh, it will hold a lot of pallets, that though. Alternatively, there's the smaller Welga trailer, which I think is going to be a better choice for that. Bale trailer, uh, the BKT wheels on it. Uh, Fisher J on the number plate, as that is on our main tractor at the moment. So, there we go. And, okay. And we can afford that. We can buy that. So, buy that. Yes. Okay. I also then want to get this, the WIFO HMZ uh, 343000. Uh, this is a pallet fork that's a rear three hitch. Uh, it's only going to cost us 10,000. Yes, that is perfect as well. And these two will work together. Now, we are eating into the new tractor fund quite a bit. In fact, Something I've realized is we've got to buy a lot of equipment soon. We're going to have to buy ourselves a ridger. Uh, we're going to need a plow or a subsoiler. Uh, I'm because, well, because we're doing root crops, uh, they they all require plowing after each year so or after each harvest. So uh, we definitely need to get that. Uh, we also need to get a planter as well. That should be all we need in order to get this, uh, to get our vegetables for next year sorted. So that in itself is going to be fairly expensive. Looking in the vegetable technology, it's going to be uh, 28,000 for the richer. It's going to be uh, 12,000 for the cedar. And a subsoiler that will actually go on our tractor. Uh, it's 250. So unless I can find a mod that's that's a bit better. Uh, we're looking at a 4 meter subsoiler. Uh, that's taking... Yeah, that taking uh, 10,000 as well. So we're looking at about 70,000, 80,000 for our setup uh, with those two. So quite a bit of expenditure to come. I think we're probably going to need somewhere in the region of 120,000 of this year's uh, crop in order to make that. I think we might have it. We'll have a look when we get down there, but I think we might have it. I'm going to bring this trailer and just park it down the side here for now. Should be able to get this unhooked. I oh, know we have to do it from here. Uh, now I just had a thought. This we could do two of these in tandem. It would hold as much as that other trailer, and we would end up with uh, just as much space. And that might be the better way to go. Two of these dolly trailers, as much of a pain as, as they're going to be to back up. Uh, might be a better choice for this overall. We're going to reverse. Uh, unfold this. There we go. I keep having an issue with this. With the... Well, in general, with the stuff unlo unfolding on the back of this tractor. I don't know if it's an issue with the actual... Uh, DLC or whether it's an issue with this tractor but then this is a base game tractor so not expecting uh, that kind of issue with this Ooh, let's go forwards yeah uh, forwards see if we can do double stacks I think we could do, probably do quadruple stacks with this piece of kit but it's uh, it's a tough one right let's get that right down and slowly pull off that there we go oh, look at that what a nice double stack that is so back in and up yep and then forwards yes and then we immediately get another one following in 
We could get triples on this. I think we very much could get triples on this. Alright, line up on the front edge. We're going to get as many onto this trailer as we can. And down. In fact, we should be able to go three wide. And the way I'm going to do it is I am going to push them across. That is if I can get them on there in the first place. Oh, I'm going to have to now adjust that top one. This is going to be a lot of very careful maneuvering. I do like this piece of kit. Uh, it works very well. And part of it is uh, is my still current unfamiliarity with the sim task wheel. Uh, sorry, the sim task, uh, not wheel, the uh, joystick. In that I am uh, still trying to get myself used to where all the buttons are. Um, but it looks like we're going to have a good amount of parsnip soup to sell today. So uh, I need to get this trailer filled up, done, and uh, we can go from there. But it turns out that you can actually take four pallets at a time. Uh, just knock that one off. So let's just pack this up a little bit. Yeah. Uh, you can take four pallets time if you're careful. Go back this right up to here and try and lift this all up. One of those things where getting backwards and forwards correctly is fine. But yeah, look at this. Four pallets at a time. Absolutely perfect. A uh, little bit of... Uh, maneuvering about and things that that makes it a little bit harder but otherwise i'm pretty happy uh we have space for in three more pallets at least on here it actually gets quite a good amount of pallets on here and i'm very very pleased i didn't go and spend money for the extra uh for for the bigger trailer because if i had uh, they wouldn't have fit on here. So, yeah, we've only got uh, two stack left. So we'll come in here and do this. Now, this is everything that was in here. So I think we have some potato cans along with some uh, parsnip. Uh, sorry, potato soup along with some parsnip soup in here, which is great. Uh, we'll get a nice spread out amount. And I think we're going to probably be doing this on a fairly regular basis to get all of our money in from cans. Uh, we won't know until a full year's gone past when is actually the best price. So it's possible that, yes, March is the best price for these cans. If so, uh, we've got plenty of time to uh, get this stuff processed and have lots of soup out. So there's plenty to go in here. Just trying to manoeuvre this so that we end up with a good stack. Because we're going to have to push this stack onto the trailer. I'm probably going to put it in the middle, I think. Yeah, there we go. That is the best place. Forwards. So these, these do kind of sit where... They, they won't go any lower than uh, they can go. So they'll sit on top of stuff, which is really useful. Quite often, you have big problems trying to get pallets and things uh, where you're pressing down on them too much whereas these these are free moving and so much easier to stack pallets with um i absolutely love these forks now our problem here is going to be to get this so that it pushes these on and doesn't push the other ones off I'm going to go right down. That might have done it. Nope, that hasn't. So put it down. Forwards. Yeah, there we go. That way our forks aren't sticking out. We've got to be careful of how far off we're going on the other side. There, that should do it. So forwards away from that. Put this right down. There we go. And then forwards away from that. Yeah. And then we can get all of this strapped on. So I've actually managed to get all of that sucked up to 
on there without having done any of the uh, uh with, without having done any of the straps up which is fantastic uh we also fitted all the soup we've got processed so far onto this trailer so uh that is really good news as well attach this on that is all attached in the right place right let's go and uh get this sold so like it was during our silver run series it turns out the best place to sell these cans is going to be via the train not at this station here though uh oh there goes the train the train is currently going past so yeah we're gonna want to hire that when we get up to the station at the top here the one at the top here should have the platform we need to get the pallets loaded onto uh 28 000 liters this is going to be worth about 60 uh well actually um yeah no no well over 70 000 i think uh no it's definitely gonna be worth 60 000 might be worth as much as 70 000 uh, we'll see how we go, but uh, yeah, really, really pleased. This is the station that we want over to the right here. And with the train having just gone past, we'll call it as soon as we get in. I oh, need to slow down. We're a little bit overloaded here, and I want to avoid tipping my trailer over. But as I said on my uh, map first look of here, it's quite nice because we come into the station here and we can just pop out and lease the train so let's do that rent the train it's gonna back up towards us now and i want to back this trailer into a position that i can get it unloaded onto the train easily so back it up always fun with the dolly trailer and get it into position yeah we only need it roughly in position i don't need to to do any really careful backing up and then we want to nope we want to disconnect the trailer unfold our forks and then by the time the train gets here we will be able to start loading these boxes on. And knowing that we can load four boxes at a time, that is going to make everything so much simpler. Train is here and the flatbed is in position. That was a little bit close. I think we're going to have to reverse up this ramp to unload these. We've got enough reach, though, thankfully, with the tractor. Look at that. That will definitely reach onto that trailer to unload them oh no but it's not low enough oh hang on i know how we can get that low enough because we have lifted this up so we lower that down and drive straight off perfect right that will do the trick so we just need to do some more of that get the rest of these on to the train and then we can send it off and get our money for today's crops final two pallets of boop get them onto the train uh, down we'll lower that yep there we go and reverse up a little bit more then drive forward and off and lift everything up right i want to fold that up so that we can connect this back up to our trailer uh, and then we'll be able to head back to our farm and get everything loaded up. This has been absolutely brilliant, this set of forks. Uh, has allowed us to still keep, basically, a single tractor set up uh, for this initial bit. And we got, yeah, strap all of these down as much as we can. Hopefully that will work. Now, can we return the train from here? Yep, return the rented train. So that will now head off. And uh, we will shortly get our money for our, uh, for our soup, which is brilliant. I'm Our first money is going to come in. And uh, I'm very much hoping for sort of 
70 odd grand from it uh which will be very nice we might be able to get a new tractor we might also be able to get uh, a plow or a subsoiler or something there we go 71,000 uh yeah brilliant we're up to 71,000 that's perfect uh, I'm pretty sure we can get another tractor for that so I'm down at the shop now because it's time to get the tractor I want and I've been umming and erring about this a lot I have not made quite as much money as I'd hoped we are going to be selling off some more cans uh, we've got lots still going. I did consider getting the Case Farmall uh, uh, 1066 Hydro. Uh, not a bad little tractor, a good classic, but we're going a little bit more modern in this series. So instead, from the same pack, I want to get the Farmall C series. Now, we can't quite afford it with the three point on, but we can afford it with the front weight. So uh, we are going to do that. Um, I did want to get more horsepower than 90 horsepower, uh, but we don't have enough money for that. But 90 horsepower actually should be more than enough for what we're looking to do. Uh, we've not got a front loader attached, we're not getting GPS. We do need to pick a person from the patrons at random. And the lucky person is Archangel. Thank you for your support. You have been selected to have your name on this, uh, the number plate for our little tractor here. So there we go. And actually, that's passed really well on the front there. Uh, absolutely fantastic. So we are going to buy this tractor for 69590 And this tractor now will become... Our little tractor that we uh, we load up all of our stuff with, take our stuff to sell with. Um, this can also run things like the Cedar. Our Cedar won't require too much horsepower. So this is pretty perfect. So let's jump in, get us started up, and uh, yeah, get it back to the farm. I am overjoyed actually to have this on here. It's taken all of our money, but... It's going to be great. This is the pack this comes from is brilliant. So uh, I am very, very happy to have this little tractor on our farm. Doing the jobs that uh, that I really could do with a, a smaller tractor for. Um, it is going to be perfect. So let's park this up. Turn her off. And yeah, that is us done for the day. Uh, next time we are going to have to go and start plowing our fields. All of our three fields need plowing uh, ready to prepare for next year's crop. We will start looking at doing some ridging maybe or we might jump forward and do that in March. Haven't quite decided to let yet. Let us know in the comments what you think. Uh, we should also keep selling some soup. We want to make a lot of money from that. In the meantime, I'm going to hunker down in the bus for another night and leave you guys here so all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video please leave a like drop us a comment and give it a share special thanks to all my patrons and channel members your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow for more from virtual farmer check out the links below follow on twitch to watch live and for more videos subscribe and ring that bell i will see you next time goodbye